As the weather warms up, more people are going out for a walk or a run, but doctors say if you aren't wearing the proper shoes, you could injure your feet. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely spoke with a Houghton podiatrist and has more in tonight's Consumer Watch. Runners are rejoicing that the weather is finally beginning to warm up. But whether it's running through town or taking a walk in the woods, doctors are warning people not to push it. Dr. Daniel Reminga, podiatrist at Northern Foot Care in Houghton, says though a nice stroll can be good for your health, you could be doing damage to your feet. He says investing in a good shoe is vital, one that has a rigid heel and plenty of padding and advises against the recently popular five-toed Vibram shoes. You want to make sure that the shoe is stiff enough where it's going to hold up, do what I call the torque test, and it becomes difficult to twist the shoe, that's usually a good sign. A proper pair of shoes might be a little pricey, around $100 or more, but the durability is worth it. Dr. Reminga says he often sees patients for heel pain, blisters, shin splints, or irritation on bunions and toes, some even taking an entire season to heal. There's going to be things that they may not even be aware of that they're going to be more prone to, and I can usually spot certain things that I can tell a patient, you know, this is what you may end up having as far as an injury if you don't address it at this point. There are, of course, health benefits as well, like lowering cholesterol and blood pressure, weight loss, and even reducing nicotine cravings. And for many, walking may be better than running. Studies have proven even just for weight loss, walking and running are equal when it comes to burning calories. Walking is a lot less riskier. So the injuries are going to be a lot less as a result of that. Most people can walk, not most people can run. So whether you're an avid runner or you just want to go for a walk, a proper shoe can be the difference between a summer spent on the couch or a summer spent outdoors. Sarah Blakely, TV6 News, Houghton.